what's going on everyone is dennis simplifies in this video we are going to go through components in react native all right so the first 10 people to watch this video should leave a comment in the comment section for a handsome surprise all right and make sure before we delve into the video you give a like and then you subscribe all right so components in react native sit back relax and let's simplify now to learn components in react native the best place to learn components in react native is from react native themselves so in this video we are going to go straight to the react native documentations from react native to go through the components in react native and then we give us some practice in our vs code so let's go straight to our web browser and go to the website of react native so you can see from the top that we are using reactnative.dev slash documentation slash intro dash react dash native dash components so when you go to the react native documentations over here you can see we have the core components and native components so today we are going to go through the components in react native so react native is open source and then there is a lot over here and then over here we see that in android and ios development a view is the basic building block of ui always be reminded of view we'll be using views throughout our app development in both in both ios and then android so view is the basic building block always be reminded of view throughout our application process we are going to be using view so this is how an android and an ios actually look like when you're applying the view group and the other components in react native so you have the view group image view text view text view ui text view ui image view ui view there's a lot of them all right so over here we have native components i'll go more into it so that you get you get to understand it so one question you may ask yourself is that what is actually a component now a component is actually a function that retains html elements so the functions that we already know from our previous programming languages we know that from here in react native components are functions that retain that retain html or html elements so over here we have some core components in react native and over here we have about five of them here on the react native documentations or on their website so we have view i told you already the view is very critical is very important it's a basic building block for us which we're using it a lot in our application so you see the description here we have a container that supports a container that supports with flexbox style some touching handling and accessibility controls we have text also it displays styles um just like now we have text in react native and then we have p in web the p here is for paragraph in html and css Whenever you want to type in some paragraphs or some text, we use the P. And this equivalent in React Native is text. So anytime you want to put in some text, you use this one. This, this tag here, text, and HTML, this equivalent is the P, which is which has been described here in the description. We also have image, we have scroll view, we have generic scrolling, we have text inputs. If you the user wants to input a text. So these are some of the basic components in React Native. All right, so let's go down. So as you can see over here with the scroll view, we said that its equivalent in web is a div. The same thing with the view. The, the equivalent of a view is also a div. You can see it's a container that supports layout with Flexbox. So we get more into this as you go along. You, you understand it more. So now let's go down, 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 down. Now when we come here, this is where the main explanation is. When we talk about React components, we can see from the diagram that React components encompasses react native components that is the react native is different from react so the react native components are inside the react components and now inside the react native components we have the core components which we just talked about the five of them the the view the text inputs the image and the rest so we have the core components of react native we also have the community components of react native and we have the native components so now let me give some little explanation for it the react components contains or has the react native components 
and inside the react native component we have the core component which is the five we talked about now the react native community of developers have actually created components in libraries which are accessible to any developer whenever that developer is developing an app so if you're a developer you can actually get access to the community components from the react native community and then you can actually use these components in your apps for free and again we also have the native components these native co components are what we say the customized components that is they are the components that you the, you the user or you the developer you are going to be creating in your application so that means that the, we have the core components the community has also created components and you the developer too can also create your own components which are the native components that you can use or apply in your application all right so now that we've been talking a lot let's see how does this whole thing all work how what is the react component what are the react native components how does this thing all how do they all work so now let's move to our vs code and see how to apply the react components and then the react native components as i said earlier components are functions they are functions that retain html elements or that retain html so let's see how this actually applies in practice so this when i open my vs code now i open my app.js file now in my app.js file i am going to import so see what i'm going to be doing here i'm going to import react so import react from react now you may ask yourself then is why are you importing react from react now be reminded that this react is a big directory in my previous video we did an installation of the CLIs so this react is a big directory that contains a lot of other files so from that plenty files we are only importing the react from that react directory so if I click on this react and I go to definition that is if I want to define this react here I go to definition if I go to definition here you can see that there is a lot of other directories or files inside this react that we can actually import into our application so this react contains a lot of things including the react itself so we are only importing the react from that react directory see it has a lot of things inside it even has css types inside there are a lot of things inside of it so we are only importing the react from it all right so the next thing we are going to be importing inside our app.js is we so import now i'll bring some curly braces here and i'll bring view and then um i'll bring text and i'll bring um let's call it save area view now as we go along i'll be explaining all of these things to you save area view all right and then from where am i importing it from from react native all right so again i am importing view text and save area view from react native meaning that the react native is a very big directory that contains a lot of components but out of these plenty components i am only importing the view components the text components and the save area components i'll be explaining the, the the purposes of all these components as you go along so if i open this react native directory here and i go to definition you can see that there are a lot of components inside of it but i am only importing just three of them for the sake of the application we are building over here so there are a lot there are a lot a lot a lot a lot of libraries with the components inside but we are only using the view text and then save area view all right so from here i told you that we have the react native components we also have the react components and they are also native components now these native components can be created by the developer so the developer can create can create his or her own components so to create our own components we start with const and then we say we give a name for the for the components let's call it app in this case then equal to and then you bring parenthesis then another equal to sorry another equal to and then greater than then you bring curly braces so this is 
how we create functions in javascript so i told you before that components are functions that retain html elements so if you want to create a component you're actually creating a function in javascript so as you can see here our component here is actually a function in javascript so and i told you that it, it retains html elements so if, I, if you have created a component what is it going to retain it's going to retain something so we say retain then i bring my my parenthesis over here so it's going to retain something now whenever you create a component the last thing to do is that you want to make the component available to other files inside your app you know that we divide the the app into files or sections and that each section is independent of the other now to make sure that your components can be used in the other files that you are creating for the app you make sure that you, are, you export it so that the other files will be able to access it or have access to it so we say export then we go default sorry export default and then you add the name of the component to it so this in this way it makes your 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 components accessible to other files outside this app.js as you can see from this side there are so many files here and so many folders or directories too so to make your your component accessible to all of them you make sure that you export them we'll go more into this in our later chapters so inside our retain we said that the component retains html so inside our retain it's supposed to retain something so what is going to retain let's put something here let's say view we said that the view is the basic building block of our ui so the basic so we start with the view we say view and then inside our view which is the same like a div in html we, we use a text we want to we want to write some, a text right so we use a text over here now what text do you want to write let's say we want to write um whether let's say whether demo whether demo app all right so this is what we want to retain on our app the app that we are developing now be reminded that if you watch my previous video with the installation you realize that the hello world that we printed the hello world went inside the status bar the status bar is where the time and your notifications appear where your battery life your alarm and then the other things your 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 network everything shows that's where the status bar is you realize that in that video the hello world entered that status bar this was because we're using just the view now to make sure that the whatever we are doing will appear just under the status bar just under the status bar it won't enter the status bar to appear under the status bar what we use is that we want to make it safe to make it safe we use the save area view so the area under the status bar is the safe area that's the area that the user or the the customer will be able to see or you the developer will be able to see what you are doing not enter the status bar so that safe area we use the component called the save area view so to use the save area view we bring it here so our save area view right now i'm going to cut this code and then put it inside the save area view so cut and then inside the save area view i'm going to put it inside all right so let me just do some alignment here all right and then here too sorry all right so you can see that we have we have our save area view we have the view and then we have the text weather demo app inside it so when we look on our app from the installation i showed you that we put npm starts on our terminal home you open our directories and then we scan the qr code all of this is inside the previous video so if you haven't watched that you don't know how to use the expo go to my previous video on it, how to use react native with the expo and then you're going to you'll be able to open your expo and then display your app so from here i am going to open the app which is on the phone i want you to, i want you to see it so i'm going to open it from my terminal so that you will see everything from my phone so when you run the expo you can see the weather app demo displayed 
on your on your on your on your phone that is the expo app that you actually developing so in this case we are developing the weather app so you can see the weather app demo display there right under the status bar not inside the status bar all right friends so that is something small on components or that is what we are going to end with components in react native so in our next video we'll be going to styling in 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 react native so that's it for this video if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section i'll be willing to reply don't forget to like and subscribe until next time apart yeah